Welcome back to another video at Magic the Gathering Dungeons and Dragons Reveals and Reviews where we do reveals of what's in card packs and we do reviews over different uh, things pertaining to Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons and so excited to come back again. Got ourselves a 50 card pack uh, that is a new Magic the Gathering 50 card. Includes 25 plus rares or uncommons. Uh, Magic Gun cards and Mythics possibly in there. So excited to see what we have got here. A item that I got off of Amazon. And it was really, <clears throat> really excited when I found it. It was less than $7 to buy this pack. And so nothing you know special about the packaging itself. But 50 cards that are uh, supposed to be foil and rare and so forth for less than $7 is a pretty good deal. So I'm excited about jumping to that and checking that thing out. And of course, as always, I will put the link to that on Amazon down in the description. So make sure you click that description drop down, check that out, that link will be down there. I'll also be a link for the shirt that I wear as I do Magic the Gathering looking at whenever I do Dungeons and Dragons, I got a different shirt that I wear. And so I will put those links also down in the description. Hey, if you enjoy the video, and I sure hope you will, make sure to click that like button, get us those likes. If you got comments, questions, hey, you put those in the comment section. If you've got a specific thing that you would love to see me do a reveal on, put that in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and make sure giving the fans what they're looking for. Hey, of course, don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. If we get to 150 subscribers, I will be giving away some different items. So subscribe to MTG and D&D Reveals and Reviews. Looking forward to that. Share the video. Share the video with anybody, everybody you know that might like it. Even if you don't think they like it, share with them. Family, friends, neighbors, I don't care who you share them with. Share them with people so they will know about the channel. Hopefully they'll subscribe, hopefully they'll like. Uh, and nothing else, maybe they'll share it with somebody else. And get that the word out there. Get more people on here. The more people we have, the more subscribers, the more likes, uh, the bigger, the better, the more things that we can do and the better videos we can make. So please do that. Of course, I do have a patron. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. And so I will also put those links down in the description also for you. So you can follow me on those things and get the word out better and more. And of course, if you subscribe, click the notification button. That way you never miss out whenever we make a video. And it lets you know about every time I make a new one and come out with a new video. All right, enough of me just talking about this that and the other thing you're here to check out the card pack so let's get in this thing and check it out really excited about this especially for the price uh of just how many cards that you get that are supposed to be uh rare cards and stuff so pretty cool and excited to just jump into this thing and check it out of course some of our foil and excited about that let me some foil cards and excited to see what we have got so right off the bat we have got ourselves a Dragon Cami Reborn and Element or sorry, Enchantment Saga. And it is foiled, looking really nice, really beautiful. Uh, on the back, it has got a the thing that goes with it, which I'm assuming. Uh, exile the saga, then return it to the battlefield, transform under your control. And that is what it turns into is the enchanted creature egg, a dragon cami's egg. So a pretty cool looking card there. Another full card, we got March of burgeoning life i think is how you say that it is an instant card again another nice foil looking rare card looks really sharp looks very nice excited about that we've got sprouting goblin this is a goblin druid card this one is not a rare it's just an uncommon uh but definitely a cool card not foiled but it's definitely a pretty cool pretty sharp looking card checking that out there we've got queen uh, Alanel of Rodach. This is an elf noble legendary creature. Just an uncommon card, but uh, definitely a cool looking artwork there. And pretty awesome, pretty exciting there. Of course, any time if you want to comment, if there's a certain card that you would like to see better or see a better picture of, comment that in the comment section below and I can uh, try to post another picture of it or do something like that for you. Uh, we have got Aaron Benel's Ruin. Benel's Ruin. Benalia's Ruin. Uh, Phyraxian Human. Uh, it's got minutes and other things, so pretty cool card. Neat looking artwork there with the stained glass look. They've done that with quite a few cards here lately. We got Rulik Moon's Warrior Chief. I didn't pay attention to that one's an uncommon. This is an uncommon. Uh, Warren Chief, excuse me. This is a goblin character, of course. Again, with that kind of stained glass look to it. Look very nice. Looks very sharp. Definitely a cool looking card there. We've got Rona... Uh, Sheldred's Faithful, Sh Sheldred's Faithful, I'm probably not saying that right, Human Wizard, an uncommon card, legendary creature though, again with the kind of stained glass look to it, definitely a cool looking uh, card there also. All right, we've got Halt Order, 
called Order, an instant card. Looks like it's just an uncommon type of card, but definitely sharp looking there. Nice instant card. We've got Najil, the Storm Runner. I've actually got some of these. It is an Ifrit Effort Wizard, a legendary creature there. Uh, pretty excellent card there. Those are, uh, I believe, a good commander card, if I'm not mistaken. It's one that I've seen people play commander with, and really a great card. Horizon Scholar. This is a Sphinx card. Uh, uncommon. Pretty cool looking card there. Nice little Sphinx looking creature. Definitely a cool looking card there. We got Witch's Oven, an artifact card. Sacrifice a creature, create a food token. If the sacrifice creature's toughness was four or greater, create two food tokens instead. So definitely a pretty cool uh, card there, creating some food tokens that you can be used for different things. Dragon Whelp, of course a dragon card. It just flies, a regular old uncommon card, but definitely a nice card there for your dragon deck if you've got one. We've got your... Yotia Yotaya declares war, an enchantment saga card again. Uh, definitely a, a nice card looking there. Pretty sharp so far. We've got Elite Vanguard, a creature human soldier. This is actually from uh, the 2012. So this is an older card. Pretty cool there. Just an uncommon though, but it is a cool card there. There's a creature, a human soldier. Uh, Milliken, which is an artifact creature construct. Mill a card, add one colorless mana, uh, mana to your uh, to your mana pool there. So pretty cool uh, looking card there. Pretty awesome. All right, we got next here. We got Laura, Laura, Laura. What's right? Say enchant creature. All creatures able to block enchanted creature do so. So that can actually be really a pretty cool card if you got like a real tough. Uh, creature, and you've got a, they, the enemy's got a bunch of little creatures. They're going to be blocking and keeping you from causing damage. You play that on your really tough creature, make all the other enemy creatures block only that one creature, while the rest of your guys get to do a bunch of damage. Really, a pretty cool little enchant creature card there. Vanish into memory, an instant card, looking pretty sharp, looking nice. I like it. Stone shock giant, a giant who doesn't like giants. I mean, giants are awesome. It's got a monstrosity that you can pay for to make it into a monstrosity. So a cool card that can be made even better. Peak eruption, which is a sorcery destroy target mountain. Peak eruption deals three damage to that land's controller. So a great card, definitely. Plenty of its people using mountain cards for their basic lands. We got spark caster, a quava or Kava, however you say those, those are actually pretty cool. I think those are cool creatures. I've never had enough to do something. I would love to make a deck out of them, uh, but definitely a cool creature there. They never seem like to me they're extremely strong, but this was actually pretty nice at 5-3. So really a pretty tough Kava there. Pretty awesome. Execute an instant destroy target white creature. It can't be regenerated, and you draw a card. Not bad for three mana. Pretty excellent there. For a black card, killing some white cards. All right. Resplendent Mentor, a Kethikin, Kethkin Cleric. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but uh, white creatures you control have tap one and gain a life. That is really pretty cool. You have that card out there. You got a bunch of other white creatures. Be great with a white deck for sure. Hit yourself up like crazy. Uh, Seder Piper, of course, a Seder card here. Uh, target creature must be blocked this turn if able. So again, another one that makes it where you got a real tough creature you can attack with and make the uh, the enemy have to block them and help destroy some of their creatures. We're pretty good. Vivid Grove is a land. Vivid Grove enters the battlefield tapped with two charge counters on it. Of course, it can be tapped and add one mana to you. Or it can be tapped and remove a charge counter from Vivid Grove, add one mana of any color to you. So it can be used a couple times to get any kind of color. Oh, there's a mana counter there. We got Kith, uh, Kithkin Rabble. Okay, it's just a Kithkin creature. Got Vigilance. Uh, just an uncommon card. Uh, definitely kind of interesting looking. Different there. Gaia's Might. This is an instant card. It is foil. It's got Dominion. Uh, target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each basic land type among lands you control. So this can be really good if you're playing with multiple land types. It looks very sharp with that foil on it. We've got the Thrall in the Pit, a sorcery card. It's got a kicker, gain control of target creature until end of turn. That can be pretty cool. Nice foiled looking sharp card. Just a common card, but it's nice looking with its foil. Battle Rage Blessing, another instant foiled card. Just a regular common card, but looking pretty cool. Uh, Torah 
Kinnerud Sky Knight. That is a big word that I am not pronouncing right, I guarantee it. But it is a legendary creature, human knight, flying whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token. So, uh, great card for token decks. Nice foiled looking card. Really a cool looking card. You got this knight on this giant eagle, it looks like. Pretty cool. Runic Shot, which is a sorcery. I've got some of these, but I don't know if I've got any that are uh, foiled like that. It looks really nice. It's pretty cool. We've got Lagamas, Hand of Hatred, a legendary creature, human shaman. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a 2-1 red elemental creature token with trample and haste. Sacrifice it at the beginning of your next in step. So really a pretty cool card, just building, uh, creating these creature tokens that their whole purpose is just to go ahead and attack, just be uh, basically cannon fodder more than anything, or just do a little bit of damage. If the guy doesn't want to block them, the enemies want to block them. But that one's nice, got a nice foil look to it. like it. All right, we've got Tribute to Urberg. Urberg, I think says that. It's an instant card. It's got a kicker. Target creature gets a negative two, negative two till end of turn. So that is an extra card. You could kill a creature if you needed to, uh, or just make it where they ain't going to be able to do anything if they block, or they're going to die if they block. So really a cool card. Nice and foiled looking again. Awesome. Automatic, or automate, uh, yeah, automatic librarian. An artifact construct foiled again. Looking very nice. Looking very sharp. Cool card there. We've got Phyrexian Rager, which I believe I've got some of these. The Phyrexian Horror, Horror, excuse me. Phyrexian Rager enters the battlefield. You draw a card and you lose one life. So kind of one of those uh, lose something, gain something type of cards. So cool card, especially with being foiled. Looks really nice. Looks really sharp. Clockwork Drawbridge, which is just a good old wall. Good for some defense, but this one is foiled, so definitely looking sharp. Another Sprouting Goblin, which is another uh, card we already had a minute ago, but this one is foiled, so looking very sharp. Looking good. Prayer of Binding, an enchantment with Flash from Prayer of Binding. Enters the battlefield, exile up to one target, non-land permanent, uh, and opponent, uh, excuse me, and opponent controls until Prayer of Binding leaves the battlefield. You gain two life. So it's foiled. Looks really pretty cool there. We've got Vohar, uh, Vodalian Des Desecrator, excuse me, Varaxian Merfolk Wizard. And we've got that stained glass look along with being foiled. Uh, really a super cool looking card. I like that. Sharp. We got Elvish Hydromancer, an elf wizard that is in a foiled look. And that is really cool looking. Awesome. Uh, we've got Ronan Shul Shoulders Faithful again, the human wizard, but this time it is foiled. The other one was not. We've got a Volish Tide Turner, a Merfolk card that is in foil. It looks really cool. Shield Wall Sentinel, a Gollum creature, Gollum creature that is foiled. You can see it there. Uh, Bark Weaver Crusher. I've got some of these. Elemental Warrior, but it is foiled and it's pretty cool looking there. It's a really cool card, even if it's not foiled, I think, anyway. Thrall of Possibility, an instant card in foil. Looking pretty cool. Strength of the Coalition, an instant foil card, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, extinguish the Light, an instant card, destroy target creature or planeswalker. If its mana value was three or less, you gain three life. So definitely one of those kind of suck it to the enemy and help you out at the same time. Colossus Growth, an instant, of course, making your creatures better and bigger and stronger. And it is in foil. Stall for Time, another instant card in foil. And we got two more left. We got uh, Battlefly Swarm, a Fraxian Insect, in its foil color. And then last but not least, we've got Garna Bloodfist of Keld, a human berserker card, legendary creature, that is also in foil. So if you can see that. So if there's one that I didn't maybe stop on long enough, uh, if you want to comment in the comment section, I'll try to do, figure a way to get that to you where you can see it a little bit better and observe it a little bit more and check that out. But I would say overall for... A little less than seven bucks for 50 cards. A lot of foils, a couple different good, nice looking rares, a bunch of uncommon cards, a few common cards in there, but it's nice cards. I would say that is definitely worth the money. And I will, of course, put that link in the description as always. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, and please don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate your viewers. Appreciate you for checking this out and being consistent with that. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. See you again.